All right, uh, hello everybody, and uh, welcome back to another episode here of my Let's Play series. Uh, today is episode number 32, and uh, we are over here at uh, the Nether base because I just finished AFKing um, at this little piglin trading area. Uh, I had exactly um, a stack of gold blocks and nine stacks of gold in each, and uh, we are going to check what I actually got from this. Uh, just because I wasn't sure if this was going to fill up, I did add this little temporary thing in here. Um, just in case it overflowed, which I think it may have. We'll check that right now. And, uh, yeah, so this is full. This is full. These are all fire resistance potions. Full here. Bunch of soul speed books. And I'm assuming, yep, full here as well. Uh, some yellow concrete got in there. So, yeah, glad that I put that in, or else the rest of this would be backlogged. Uh, and then, uh, for the rest of the stuff, uh, full double chest another brick. Uh, and then looks like over a half of another one. Um, a full one of soul sand. And, uh, two more rows of it. Pretty good. Um, I did take some of the obsidian out. Uh, I think eight stacks of it to craft uh, another stack of ender chests. That's the one thing I did look at. Um, yeah, wow. Almost a full, uh, double chest of the nether quartz. <laughs> Over a full chest of the leather. This is insane. This is just one stack of gold blocks in each one. So 16 stacks of gold blocks total. Uh, over a full <laughs> double chest of gravel, almost two double chests of gravel. A uh, full one of string, a uh, little over a full one of string. Uh, some magma creams, which kind of makes this farm. Actually, we could check on that after that, see how well that's doing. Uh, a bunch of crying obsidian. A uh, decent amount of iron nuggets. This isn't really the most useful because of my iron farm, but uh, that's all right. Um, a <laughs> solid amount of fire chargers. I don't know what I would ever need these for. Uh, this many of them at least for, but uh, nice to have them. Uh, Ender Pearls is probably the m most useless thing uh, that we're getting because uh, Enderman farms are so easy to get Ender Pearls. That's right though, got a decent amount of them. And then uh, Glowstone Dust. Alright, almost a full double chest. Uh, we'll check um, on the Magma Cube farm over here. Oh, what happened here? Okay. That's not the best. Alright, not, not sure what that was. But, uh, wow, okay, almost a, uh, full chest of the magma creams. I don't know how that lava could have possibly come down here. Wow, that is right there. Right, hopefully that did it. Eat some here. Alright, uh, yeah, looks like I covered it up there, hopefully. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, because when the last time I checked, that was not there. So I don't know what could have, unless, hmm, maybe it was like a... Another piece of nether rack there, and uh, yeah, the enderman picked it up to let the lava through. Alright, I'll check back on that if that happens again, but it looks like the micro hopper's still running. So this is still working here, let's make sure our iron golem's fine. Yeah, so, uh, good. Um, yeah, so, uh, pretty successful here. Uh, pretty insane amount of stuff that we can get from this farm. Uh, I have another stack of gold blocks for each of them that I'm going to re-put back into the system, but uh, I'll do that in a little bit. Uh, right now, what we're going to be doing is heading over to our main AFK area to uh, build a new farm for uh, the vines. Um, I kind of came up with a little design, pretty simple, but uh, we're going to head over there and I'll show that to you uh, in a bit. Alright, it has uh, been a bit of time since that last clip and uh, I've been doing a bunch of collecting because uh, today we are going to be building farms for the vines and also the plants that grow up, the blue ones. Uh, I've collected a bunch of materials here. This is basically what we're going to need for the farms here. Uh, two of these for yeah, weeping vines and what are these? Twisting vines. So yeah, I got uh, basically have a design in mind for both of them. Um, they do, I'm not exactly sure what the percentage of them dropping is. They drop 100% of the time with shears, but uh, if you just, if the player just breaks them, I found it's like one in every four. I might be wrong. I don't know the exact percentage, but uh, that's all right for the farm uh, when the piston breaks them. Basically for the blue vine one, uh, it's going to be pretty similar to this, this design here. And then since the red ones, the weeping vines, uh, grow downwards, it's basically going to be the opposite. So, uh, yeah, I got a layout for the two farms right here. I was originally going to have them back here, but uh, I like them better up here, so I'll get rid of those two. So, yeah, I'll have them here. Uh, and, yeah, so uh, I think the only thing left to do is uh, get into a quick time lapse building the first one. And after I get that one done, I'll check back in with you. Uh, and, yeah, so uh, enjoy the time lapse.
Alright, there we go. I uh, got this uh, farm done here. I uh, haven't cooked up a collection system yet, but uh, it is basically working here. Let's see if we have any drops. I did just finish it. Yeah, it's coming down here. I uh, got a few in here. Uh, basically, if you didn't know, uh, this works the same way as my sugar cane and uh, kind of my kelp farm where the, uh, the plants grow up. And then when they get to that observer, the observer triggers and then triggers all the pistons and they shoot out and knock the... Uh, the vines down. Um, there will be a few losses with this. Uh, it's just the way it is. So it's gonna happen. It's fine. Uh, I'm not interested in getting <laughs> too many of these. I'm not. There's gonna be times where I need to use them, but not that much. And I'm not gonna need that many. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to have this farm here. This is good. Uh, now we are going to move on to the weeping vine farm. Uh, the red one. I have the materials for it here. Uh, let me just put these away here. Uh, I'll build the first layer here with you guys just to kind of show you how it's going to work because it is different from the... Actually, I'm going to leave these in here. And uh, also these. Uh, it is different from these because it grows from top down instead of from bottom up. So yeah, basically what I'm going to do here is have... Um, so I'll have a line blocks here. Start... And then it will be observers, actually. Hmm, I think I'll go pistons on the bottom and then observers above those. So that, um, just to make everything trigger well. Because if the observers were below, uh, I'd have to get the redstone uh, line up uh, in a different way, which I don't want to have to do. And uh, this will work anyway. So we'll have the blocks back here to hold the redstone dust. And then we'll have the observers facing this way, uh, not that way, facing this way so that they can detect on this side and then put the signal out to this side. So we'll have these go all the way, 16 blocks, and then we will have redstone dust running along the back with a block here. I don't know that it needs to be these nether blocks, but I just thought it would look good. So yeah, I'll have... Uh, I don't have the vines with me, but the vines will go here. Um, actually, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to have... I'll put in a row of nether wart blocks just to give it uh, a little bit extra room to spawn. Uh, to grow, I mean. Uh, so I'll have nether wart blocks here. So the, the whole thing will be... Four, it'll be the same size as that. So I think that should work a little bit better. Um, I'll go pick up the rest of those blocks in a second here. But yeah, so basically this will go like this across. And then when I plant the vines, the vines will grow down. They'll get observed by this once, uh, which will be a waste. But then once they go down to here, which, uh, the pistons will trigger. They'll push the blocks out to here, which will, there will be water streams going along here. And the hoppers in the middle where it'll collect them and... Uh, I'll hook it up back to my main storage system. So yeah, basically that's how it's going to work. Uh, pretty simple design, but uh, should be pretty effective. So yeah, we are going to now get into a time lapse building the rest of it, and uh, I will see you after that.
All right, there we go. Uh, end of the time lapse there, and uh, we have the weeping fine uh, vine farm done now. Uh, I did actually build it one block too far out in front, so I did need to tear it down about halfway through and uh, build it right back up. But uh, that's no problem, and uh, yeah, so uh, I actually do like the way that these colors turned out um, with using the netherware blocks as the extra block in between. I think these two farms look really good. Uh, now all that we have left to do is uh, get all of this hooked up and uh, going over to my collection area over here. So uh, I have a hopper line underground right around here that I'll find, then I'll hook the hoppers up to both of these. Uh, and yeah, so uh, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. I uh, got the hoppers here all hooked up and back to my main storage system. Uh, I might hide them a little better, but they look fine for now. And uh, I've been over here for just for a couple of minutes to uh, let the sorters fill out because uh, I'm actually sorting them uh, down in the collection area now. So I should have a little bit uh, over here down in the collection area. Um, right here, see uh, the next two here are these. So I still have three more things that I can sort. And I don't actually need all of these five, so I could still add some stuff if I want to. Um, yeah, so these are flowing in here. Uh, as you can see, one just came through. These are also coming in. And uh, yeah, so a uh, pretty successful project over here. And um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, let's move on for this episode. Alrighty, uh, back here at my base. And uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking over here because I'm not sure how I wanted to do the, uh, the sorting because of all the new uh, blocks that have come out with the 116 update, uh, all the blackstone and stuff like that. And uh, I think what I've decided is that uh, I really do not need uh, these sapling sorters here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. So that'll give me at least six spots. Then maybe I can move the sticks and the arrows to somewhere else, find two spots where I don't need either. So that would give me eight over here uh, to do the nether blocks. And yeah, I really don't need saplings to be sorted out i can just have them go into my overflow because they're not something that i use a whole lot um so yeah i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get rid of these sorters up here uh figure out which of the nether blocks i want to sort and uh, i'll check back in with you after that all right there we go uh, a while later and uh we are now sorting eight of the new nether blocks uh, obviously this isn't all of them the big one that i think i'm missing is the polished blackstone um but that's not a big deal i don't think that's a block that i'm going to be using too too much and if it is a problem i can put it in somewhere else um but yeah so we got these eight B uh, basalt the polished basalt blackstone uh polished blackstone bricks uh shroom lights now i had like a stack and a half of these but i can't find them anywhere they're probably just lost in these uh like in the back hoppers somewhere i look tried to look through them but i uh, couldn't find them so uh if i find those i'll put them in there i i just need to collect them anyway uh, regular nether warp blocks, uh, the blue nether warp blocks, the warped, uh, and then the crimson wood and the warped stem. Now, I'm not sorting the planks, uh, it's not a big deal. I'll just put them in here, uh, whenever I have them or whenever I remember to. Uh, still got a little bit of stuff in here, see if we can see the shroom lights. I've been looking, I still haven't seen them. Maybe they're in a shulker box somewhere, uh, by one of my projects, but we'll find those. Uh, but right now, yeah, okay, I'll show you where I put the other stuff too. This, we, so we had the sticks that we moved. Uh, we put these here instead of the lapis lazuli blocks because I don't really use the lapis lazuli blocks. So that's not a problem. Uh, cactus in here for these endstone bricks. Uh, again, another block that if I am going to use it, which I rarely do, I'll just put it in here myself. Got the cactus all in here. Uh, and then I think the one other one that we moved was the arrows, which are actually right across from where they were, uh, this was powered rail, and then I just moved all the powered rail in here, uh, and got all my arrows moved over. So yeah, pretty good project here, uh, pretty happy that we got this in here, this will be much better, uh, there's still probably, uh, some basalt and polished bricks and stuff like that, that are backed up in there, uh, and I also have a bunch of them over at my nether project, so I'll probably get some of those, put them in here, uh, already got a decent amount of them in here actually, so, um, so yeah, pretty, uh, pretty successful little project over here. And uh, I think now we are going to move on to uh, collecting a little bit more netherite. Um, I'll probably find a new mining spot for it, and then I'll check back in with you guys. Uh, my old mining spot was a problem because it's under a lava lake, so whenever I tried to use the uh, TNT, um, it would just blow up and all the lava would come down. That was a problem. So we'll do that, and then uh, I'll check back in with you after that. 
All right, so uh, I've flown a little bit. This is actually pretty close to my bridge, but I made sure I wasn't near any lava lakes. And uh, down here at Y level 15, and uh, we're just going to start mining here. I uh, want to get my netherite um, stock up a lot. I don't have much left. Uh, and uh, I mean, I've got all my main stuff done, but I want to get a decent amount extra. So uh, right now, I'm just going to get into a time lapse uh, digging for some netherite. So I'll see you after that. Alrighty, uh, end of the time lapse there, and uh, basically ended up digging all the way over here to my nether base. Uh, got 29 ancient debris, and uh, I have three extra at my base, which would be 32, which would make eight netherite, and then I have uh, one other piece of netherite. So uh, that would be nine, and we will be able to make our first netherite block. So uh, I'm going to get this all smelted up, get it crafted, and uh, I will see you over at my base. All right, uh, he back here at my base and uh, got my 29 uh, ancient debris that I got there, smelted up along with the three extra that I had left, uh, and crafted up those uh, netherite scraps into ingots, and then grabbed my other ingot, and now we have nine netherite ingots, and that should be able to be crafted into our first netherite block, block of netherite. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, I got a block of netherite. Uh, it probably won't keep it in block form for long. We'll be using it. Uh, for some of our backup tools and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, pretty happy with this. Uh, glad that we got this. Um, and yeah, I think with that, that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, pretty successful episode. Uh, the big thing we did was uh, obviously those two um, nether vine farms. Uh, got those both done. And then uh, figured out a, the storage situation for uh, these eight blocks here uh, for the new nether blocks. I was kind of worried that we wouldn't be able to fit this in, but I think we did this. Uh, without sacrificing too much because i mean we really didn't need those saplings to be sorted out those are kind of just a waste of space so yeah pretty successful here uh, i think pretty successful episode in general and uh yeah thank you guys for watching um this has been episode 32 of my let's play series uh, i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one later